and welcome back to my channel okay so in this video I am featuring a mini sort of kind of mini makeup haul and my favorites of the last three months oh yeah oh yeah because it's long overdue I don't like doing monthly favorites because I never have a favorite for each month it'll be I might and then I might not and then I don't have a bunch of favorites I might have one or two favorites of the month and that's about it and it's I feel like it's pretty lame to do a video on just two products so I like to do what I call my favorites of the moment or whatever my current favorites and this will involve favorites from the last say three or so months and I have quite a few well, I actually have more haulage than I do favorites, but I decided since they're both kind of on the short side, I will just blend the two together for you guys. Yeah, let's get right into the haul part of the video. I'm going to try to get that part out first. And I did a lot of haulage right before um, Ash Wednesday because, you know, if you're Catholic, Ash Wednesday marks the 40-day um, fast where we give up something that we're so addicted to or drawn to or that's taken up much of our our life me that's makeup so I gave up buying makeup for 40 days yeah it was a challenge and I'm gonna be quite honest with you I caved one time and I bought a lipstick but before um, Ash Wednesday before the fast before our 40 days of giving up what we love I um, did do a bunch of collective haulage and I bought a bunch of lippy products like I was on the hunt for lippy products because it seemed like lippy products is the thing right now um, especially uh, liquid lipsticks matte lip liquid lipsticks seem to be all the rage about now so I have a bunch of new goodies from lip pencils to liquid lipsticks to show you guys and I'm just gonna turn right around this way so I can grab those things for you guys I'm just going to start with all the lippy products that I purchased first because it's a lot. It's it's quite a lot. And I'm going to start with what I had been craving to have since they came out, which is the Milani Matte um, Statement Lipsticks. And I have a total of five. I do plan on getting one one more but I have to wait till Lent is over of course before I can do that and I think that we're in that last week or no two weeks left for Lent I don't know but I'd be glad when it's over I mean I know it's a spiritual thing I get it but I picked the wrong thing to give up okay I picked the right thing to give up I really did need to give up shopping on makeup but um I can't wait till it's over so I can buy that one last um lipstick that I want which is a red color I forgot the name of it but I do have a total of five that I got before Lent started and um, I'm just gonna go over the colors that I have I might have featured these at least one of them I think uh, in a makeup tutorial for Valentine's Day and that was this one right here and that was this one right here which is passion and passion is a orange base red or red base orange it's an orange base red I believe and it's a vibrant in your face red and I cannot wait till March 20th because you know that starts the spring season and I can't wait because I get to rock this all spring long and you guys if you don't know already red is my favorite lip color to wear um, with purple being my second favorite but red is my ultimate favorite lip shade to wear and uh, I just can't wait I just can't wait I just can't wait and these um if you guys want me to do like a full-on like lip swatch video slash review on these please thumbs up this video and let me know it in the comment section because I will I will so I like I said I have the matte passion which is number 66 i'm not gonna swatch it or anything because i don't want this video to be super 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 long because it's already gonna be long um so like i said if you want to see me do a, a lip swatch um slash review of the five by the time you thumbs this up and like this and i see it it's probably gonna be six lipsticks then 
please do thumbs up this video and like uh, uh, and comment in the section that you want me to do it okay so the next color I got is the number 64 um, in the color orchid which is a bright bold in your face pink I almost want to say it's a neon pink it could possibly be a neon pink I haven't swatched this or worn this lipstick yet so I don't know how bright it is but I can tell you now that it's a blue based pink and it is absolutely gorgeous um, and I cannot wait to rock this during the spring season either okay and I also picked up some nude colors um, the first one I have is number 62 which is in a color blissful and this is also a blue based um, pink color it's more of like a mauvey pink it's very very pretty now this one I did swatch and uh, play with a little bit um, I think I might have even done a video using this I don't know these things smell like bubble gum I am so going off topic anyways so yeah um, I don't think I've ever you did it a makeup tutorial with this I don't think I have I just swatched it on my hand when I was playing with it but I absolutely love this shade I think it's very beautiful a very gorgeous matte um, pinky shade and then I have naked which I'm really excited about and I haven't swatched or used this yet either this is naked and it looks like this naked is a very taupey gray toned nude color which huh, you know taupe is all the rage this season so I'm very excited about this it's a taupey it's not quite nude it's more on the brown side now this one I real swatched because I'm very curious so it looks like that on me um, it's more, much lighter on me compared to someone who's of a lighter complexion. This will be a lot darker on you. But it is definitely on the gray, taupey side of the spectrum. This shade kind of reminds me of Maybelline's um, The Nudes Collection. Their um, Toughest Taupe. Not to What am I talking about? Toughest Taupe. Touchable Taupe and the... Uh, cinnamon colors so yeah and then lastly I have a very vibrant gorgeous purple and I did do a makeup tutorial featuring this color my dog is over here chewing on something as soon as I look down she looks guilty what you got what's in your mouth I'll be right chewing on a piece of plastic hmm <sighs> Okay. So like I was saying, um, this purple I have is the last one I have of the Milani um, matte colors and this is number 65 in the color Glam and I think this lipstick is perfectly labeled correctly. Glam is definitely befitting of this lipstick. This is a blue based purple but it's on the vibrant side. It is gorgeous. I will swatch this and one. This is what the color looks like. It is absolutely gorgeous and it's a lot more vibrant in person than it is on camera. Okay, so next I want to get into some liquid lipsticks that I purchased and I purchased these liquid lipsticks after watching um, love Melissa Michelle she did a makeup tutorial like she did like a first impressions makeup look featuring one of these lipsticks and it was the Rimmel um, show off lip velvets she did it with a red lip and um, ever since then I have been on a hunt for these lipsticks I also saw another youtuber I don't remember who she was but she also used a uh, Rimmel um, velvet lipstick and I I was on the hunt to get these I've been on a hunt to get matte liquid matte lipsticks for quite uh, some time and within the last month and a half or so and I really want to try the L'Oreal ones I think L'Oreal and Revlon have to um, have some and but they're so expensive no L'Oreal has two different L'Oreal has a L'Oreal infallible they have two different liquid lipsticks and they're both expensive and I ain't about that life I am diva on a dime for a reason in the day when drugstore makeup becomes too expensive to buy something ain't wrong I ended up trying the nun matte ones and I really do like the formula the color payoff and the feel of the nun matte ones so I actually am after Lent 
is done, we'll be going to buy a couple more of the regular um, liquid lipsticks from Rimmel. These, again, are the Rimmel Show Off um, Lip Lacquers, and then I have three of those. And I'll show you uh, the regular ones I have. I have the color... Do, 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 do. Do, 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 this one is called Apocalyptic, and this is like a very vibrant uh, pinky red color. Looks like this. I'm not gonna swatch all of them again. Like I said, if you guys want to see me do a lip swatch and slash review on these, then also thumbs up. And I will do a separate video for the Milani ones, and I will do a separate video for the Rimmel Show Off ones. So that was that, and then I have the lip lacquer in the color Celestial, which is a very beautiful, like mauvey nude pink color. Lady, oh, and it looks like this. This is the color that I'm wearing on my lips right now. And I absolutely love it. I love it, love it, love it. And then I have Aurora. And Aurora is like a corally pink color. And it looks like this. The camera, 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 the camera is not doing any justice. I'll be glad to do a lip swatch slash review video for you guys on these. And then the two matte ones I have is Orangeology. And this is just a vibrant, in-your-face, bold orange color that I cannot wait to rock this, this uh, spring, summer. And then the last one I have is the Show Off Lip Velvet Matte in the color Atomic Rose. And it looks like this. And I did do a recent um, makeup tutorial. It was my coral, soft coral spring makeup look that I just did. Um featuring and it has this lipstick in it so yeah those were all the Rimmel um, liquid lipsticks that I so have. moving right along I'm going to show off some uh, Jordana modern matte lipsticks that I got um, my local Walgreens carries um, ha carries the lipsticks but they don't carry a, a huge assortment of the other shades I'm pretty sure there's like a lot more shades but from the shades that I saw at my local Walgreens there were only two that sort of interested me and um and i say sort of only because at the time i felt like i had these colors in my collection already but now i know for sure that i have a lot of dupes to both of these colors in my collection and a lot of dupes for a lot of the jordana matte lipsticks in my collection already they not, not necessarily are matte lipsticks but the colors i have dupes for so None of the Jordana matte lipsticks excited me because they were colors I already own and there wasn't colors that were worth, you know, going crazy over. So I only picked up two, two that I knew that I would probably wear a lot. And the two that I have is in, uh, the first one is in 09 Matte Dare. And I will swatch these. Ugh. And it looks like this. Um, Wet n Wild has a very similar color to this, which is called Sugar Plum Fairy, just to let you know. And they also have one in the Fergie line. This is the Fergie one, and it looks like this. Although it's not matte, it is, um, very similar in color, very, very similar in color. This one might be a little bit on the darker side. Let me see if I can find Sugar Plum Fairy. Here it is right here. And here is Sugar Plum Fairy. very similar in color this one might be a tad bit more on the darker side but the point is they weren't colors that were worth me going wow wow crazy over but I will swatch this one again this is in the color dare and this is what dare looks like let me swatch Sugar Plum Fairy next to it. It's very similar. I'm sorry, guys. It's just too similar for me. So I wasn't very excited about it, unfortunately. But Dare looks a lot more purple inside the tube. But when you put it on, it has definitely a red base to it, which was kind of disappointing for me, too. I was hoping it was going to be true to the color that it appears to be. 
but it is not. So it's just another red base plummy purple color. And also comparing the formula of the matte formula to of Jordana to the Milani mattes and the Maybelline mattes, they're not as matte as they as the um, Milani or Maybellines. Um, they still have a bit of a sheen. They're like the formula of the original Wet n Wild um, lipstick, so a cross between matte and um, cream so like a semi matte finish not necessarily a matte finish and then the other one I have is matte classy and this is their nudie color it's like a nudie mauvey pink color looks like this this one I was a little bit more excited about and I'm going to go ahead and swatch this one for you guys. This video is going to be really, really long, so I think I'm going to go ahead and split it into two parts and then do my haul as part one and then the favorites as part two. Okay, so this is what uh, Classy looks like. I really do like the shade of Classy. I don't think I have anything quite like this one. This one's like a purpley, pinky gray based beauty color it just it's hard to describe but this one I am I'm glad I uh, swatched it this is my first time swatching it from the tube I wasn't very impressed but from swatching it I actually really do like this color a lot and I probably will wear this one a lot more than I will wear dare but um, so that's what that looks like okay speaking of wet and wild and the Fergie collection I picked up three of the um, Wet n Wild Fergie collections. Um, what are these? The Velvet Matte Lip Colors. And I did swatch these because I was so excited to have them when I first got them, which was like over a month ago. So it's probably been like almost two months since I've had these. Um, I'm just going to tell you, I am superly disappointed in these. This is a horrible, horrible, horrible product. Um, okay. First, let me just swatch these for you. We're going to start off with this color, which is the Standout, which is a, a very pastel um, lavender pink color. It's very pretty. It's a very gorgeous color, but I'm just going to swatch it here. That is the color right there. I just would like to let you guys know that these lipsticks are not matte. They're not even velvet. Okay. Um, they're not matte. They're not velvet. It's pretty much a cream lip pencil. Pretty much is all what it is. Um, this color I find to be not as patchy as the other two, but it's quite on the patchy side. Um, it was just a very huge disappointment. I'm going to go ahead and swatch the other one, which is Plum Plum Janu. I think that's how you say it, and it looks like this. Again, very gorgeous color, unlike any color I own or have in my collection or that I've ever seen. I'm just going to swatch it here. This color being the least patchy, the more um, opaque of the three that I have, but again, the lips, the these lip velvets, what are they called? The Wet n Wild Velvet Matte Lip Colors, crayons. They are not matte or velvet at all. Um, and then the last one I'm gonna swatch was the the most disappointing one of them all, and this one is in the color DJ Doll. Looks like this. And it's worn down because I have been trying to get the color payoff of this um, particular one for the long. Like I've been, I've been hoping that the color payoff will come. So I've just been rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. Give it a break. I'll come back to it a week later and rub, rub, rub it again and see if I can get the color payoff. You see how vibrant the color is in the tube, right? And mind you, this is the most unique color I have ever seen in a freaking lipstick. It's like a brick orange color, a rusty orange color with a bit of a golden shimmer to it it is absolutely gorgeous in the tube but let me show you what it looks like swatch and let this be the moment where this decides to cooperate okay so i'm gonna just 
swatch it here. Oh, I'm glad it didn't show his marbles. So now you guys, can you see that? Can you see that? There's no color coming off. It's like, oh my gosh. And then mind you, can you see the shit, the like the gleamingness, the oiliness of this? What was supposed to be mad about that? I'm so disappointed. I was hoping I was going to get a true matte full color payoff of what this color is because I thought this would be a sexy awesome color to rock but it was a huge disappointment and uh yeah I don't I don't recommend them I'm gonna just say it like it is I don't recommend them at all you can buy them at your own risk but I don't recommend them and moving I picked on up these Nika K lipsticks these are the ultra slick lipsticks they had the matte ones as well, but I got there a little too late and all the matte ones were gone and all they had left was the ultra slick ones, which I still managed to pick up two of them that I was interested in and I'm glad I did. The first one is in this silvery gray color or not even a silvery gray color. I take silver back. It's a gray color. Um, it's like a smoky gray and it looks like gray shimmery, not a shimmery, but satin finish lipstick. And it looks like that. I was very intrigued by this color. I thought um, I can do a lot of mixing and matching and creating with this lipstick. So I'm glad I purchased it. And then the second one I have, unfortunately, these did not come with names. I looked and looked and looked, but I do not see a name for these lipsticks. So I can't tell you what they're called. I just can tell you that they're from the from Nika K and they're the ultra slick lipsticks. And then the um, second one I got is this color here, which is a gemstone green. It is absolutely gorgeous, and I cannot wait to do a look rocking this lipstick. And it looks like that. Absolutely gorgeous, absolutely beautiful, and I'm all in for colored lips, okay? Um, it's all about art. Makeup is art. It's a form of art. It's an extension of art. I am an artist outside of makeup. I, in case you guys don't know, I am, I majored in art. Art is my passion. I can draw. I can paint. I do a lot of it. And makeup is just another extension of that for me. And when I buy makeup, when I do makeup, it is all about the art form for it. So I might do some looks that you guys may not be approve of for wearing every day, but it's about the artistry behind it. So yeah. I cannot wait to do a look featuring this color here. And lastly, of the things that I, of the lip products that I got, um, these are also from Ms. Outlet, but I'm pretty sure you can find these. The Nika K brand you can definitely find at your local, my, I'm sorry, my bra strap is like, <laughs> the Nika K brand you can definitely find at your local beauty supply store because before I even moved to Texas and knew about a Ms. Outlet, I was buying Nika K at my local beauty supply store in Florida and in and when I was living in St. Louis. So um, you can definitely find Nika K products pretty much at any uh, beauty supply store. Um, I did purchase, whoa, a total of five lip liners. These are from the LA Girls. I will not swatch them because again, I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible. I'm pretty sure it won't be, but I'm going to try to keep it as short as possible. Um, the colors that I got were... Rose Brown. You know what? I'll, I will show you what it looks like. And it looks like that. It's called Rose Brown. Um, the next one that I have is Burgundy. Looks like this. like a ready deep red color and then the sec uh, the third one I have is called current which is the one I'm wearing on my lips so again is in the color current and it's a very beautiful um, plummy um, plummy color it's just really pretty and then I got pinky pinky looks like this it's just a really gorgeous mauvey pink color And then I have Perfect Brown, and Perfect Brown looks like this. 
and it's like a reddish orangey brown it's not really the perfect brown it's not my ideal brown but I do like the color. I know I said I was done with the lip products, but I'm not quite. I promise you, though, these are the last two I'm going to talk about. I forgot that I also picked up two Jordana Easy Liner Lip Liners, and these are new. Uh, they're newest colors, and um, I have two. I have the color Pink Love, and Pink Love looks like this. It's like a corally pink almost. Not. Let me swatch it. Yeah, it's more like a corally pink. It's a really pretty color. And then I also picked up Baby Berry. Ugh. And Baby Berry looks like this. And it's like a purpley, plummy color. Oh, this color is gorgeous, guys. Right there absolutely lovely color I cannot wait to use that and so finally that's it of all the lippy products okay, that so I got now I have some more makeup products to talk about with you guys I also purchased these from um, Ms. Outlet and these are the clean color retractable eyebrow pencils and I picked these up in three or two shades but <laughs> it's so odd I cannot find the other two shades it's um weird i don't know where the other two shades are so i'm just going to talk about this one for right now and this one i picked up in the color i don't know uh brown i know for sure that the other one was in dark brown and the other one was in taupe i just have no idea what I did with the other two but needless to say I got these as well um, while I was at Ms. Outlet I also picked up these pure mineral concealers um, the high definition smart blend from um, Ruby Kisses and I have this one in the color caramel which I don't understand why it's called caramel because this is a chocolate color and this color is way darker than my complexion so I might try using this like in a cream contour type fashion but it looks like that. I love the way that just blended out. It blended out so creamy, so, so nice. I cannot wait to use these. I haven't used these yet and I don't know how well they perform. And the other one I have is in the color Golden Honey. Looks like this. And Golden Honey looks like this. Golden Honey reminds me of Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color Cafe. And I'm going to swatch this one as well for you guys. And it looks like that. It looks really light on camera. Hell, it looks really light on me. So I'll definitely have to be mixing that shade. But that's what it looks like. And that's it from all the stuff that I got from Ms. Outlet. So let's talk about some other stuff that I purchased um, makeup wise, uh, which would be this L'Oreal True Match um, Foundation. This one is in the color Neutral. Um, I purchased this in December, like right before Christmas when it was on sale. And um, I've never tried a L'Oreal True Match Foundation before. And I've seen it for years and years and years. And I've always wanted to try it, but the price point had never been to my liking so when it was on sale I definitely jumped on the chance to try this foundation I have worn this foundation once um I don't know if I worn it in a video but I have worn it once and I don't really have thoughts about it because I think I just applied it to make a video and that was it so I didn't wear it outside I didn't you know test it out for hours to see how it is but if you guys want to see a review and demo on this foundation please let me know because I will do it for you guys and then I also picked up the L'Oreal True Match concealers and I have the color medium deep in 678 and medium deep 678 medium deep in 678 and medium deep in C678 the C standing for cool and the N standing for neutral I do love these concealers and I have used these concealers quite a lot but I never actually did a review or uh, I never really talked about them so if you guys want to see a review I will probably review these to, to 
these together so if you guys want to see a review on these l'oreal foundation and concealer just let me know and i will definitely do that for you guys okay also i picked up this revlon photo ready skin lights and i've always wanted to try it but again the price point really really wasn't to my liking this was on clearance for three dollars and 74 cents so i jumped on it and this one is in the color peach light and i cannot wait to try this out on my skin i did swatch it after i got it and it is absolutely gorgeous and i cannot wait to do a makeup tutorial with this product oh my goodness um also while i was at target i picked up these two products here this is the cleaning clear night relaxing deep cleansing face wash and the night relaxing all-in-one cleansing wipes um it says it winds you down washes away daily buildup with sea minerals and sea kelp extract um with deep sea minerals and sea kelp extract this purifying cleansing i'm sorry cleanser cleanse deep to effectively wash away daily buildup like dirt oil and impurities Deep and pore, so effective. This foaming, cl foaming cleansing, cleansing, foaming cleanser uh, even washes away dirt and oil you can't see while calming aromas help wind you down, leaving you clean and relaxed. And I also picked this up two weeks ago when I picked up the Revlon Skin Light, and I've only used it once. I only used this once, but I've used this almost every night since I got it. This you will see again in my favorites because it is currently my favorite thing in the world. Um, I've only used face wash once only because I can't remember to use it. I have so many face washes that I use that it's, you know, I can't remember. It's like makeup. You have so much makeup that you forget that you own other stuff. Uh, so I have to literally place this on my bathroom counter right in front of me so I can see it every day in order for me to use it. Because if I put it behind my vanity cloth uh little closet thing i i will forget it's there but i do really love this product this product i love the tissue well you know what i'll talk about it more in my favorites but i also purchased this and last but not least of this video that's probably like 20 minutes long i have the real techniques um miracle complexion sponge nope this is not my first time having this i actually own one right here and it's dirty because i just did a makeup tutorial but i absolutely love this sponge and i absolutely love applying my maybelline fit me matte and poreless foundation with this sponge um i have been testing out using a sponge with different foundations to see whether i like them over my makeup brushes and so far the only foundation that i own in my collection that i absolutely love using the uh, using a sponge with is the maybelline fit me matte and poreless but i love this to blend out my concealer like you will hardly see me use a, a blush a blush a brush anymore to blend out my concealer and if you do i'll use the brush first and then i'll go right on top of that with my miracle sponge i have never tried the beauty blender and i never will i am not spending 20 dollars on a sponge when this one is six something and it works like a miracle that completes um my haul that turned out to be totally long i apologize but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for part two where i talk about my current favorites don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It only takes a few seconds to click that button, boo. Because if you like what you see, why not? Stick around with me.